We got some big news in this dev letter today, and this came out about four or five hours ago, but I was asleep because I need my sleep for my full-time job. So I'm sorry this is a little bit late, but anyways, let's just get right into this. Um, and there's a lot of information. If you have not logged into the game, this is a big, big dev letter, and there's a lot coming for the one and a half year anniversary as well. Um, so let's just get right into it. So a Hoenn region sync pair guest six star EX unlocked, and I'm pretty sure they're talking about uh, Wally, not Wally, Wallace. Um, with his uh, Milo tick, because um, they were announced that they are getting their uh, six star EX. So they're probably talking about them and they are coming out on January 18th. So in just like four days from now, um, three or four days from now. Um, and then we're also getting these two over here. And um, a lot of you guys are probably going to summon for them because I've seen a lot of replies on Twitter and everything talking about them. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might want to get them. Um, I wouldn't recommend going for them, but like like I always say, like I'm, I'm always saying uh, save your gems, don't summon on spotlights, and like it's true, spotlight scouts are not what you want to summon on, um, just because um, the value isn't that great. Um, like yeah, like for that certain secret, they're going to have a higher rate, so you're going to have a better chance of getting them, of course. Um, but the value isn't really that great because you can always get those sinkers on every other banner. So like if you go up to 400 skill points, you can get them with the guaranteed and everything. So like going on Poké Fair is much better because of that. Um, like if you end up getting the Poké Fair, then you could use your 400 skill points to get uh, the Spotlight Scout that you wanted to get before, uh, but you didn't uh, because you were waiting for the Poké Fair and all. So that's why. But if you want to summon for them because you like the, the trainer and you like the Pokemon, by all means, go ahead. Have fun with the game. Get the Synchro that you want and then just have fun using them on the team and all. Have fun. Uh, like, like, don't always listen to what like me what i say or other youtubers summon for what you want to summon for but we're just trying to give you uh advice and help on uh, saving gems if you can uh but anyways they are coming so that's gonna be nice um and then valentine's day story event with serena and serena's looking pretty good too um so this is definitely big uh, i mean it's not like big but like we are going to be getting a lot of gems there uh because it's like a celebration like a holiday and all not a holiday but it's like a uh, I guess a love day or something like that. And since uh, Dina loves um, our, us, I guess, <laughs> they're going to be giving us um, some gems. Um, and uh, Serena is, like, honestly, a lot of you guys love Serena. So, like, you're probably going to get her uh, regardless. So, I'll, I'll probably be summoning for her too. So, that's cool. Um, that's going to be coming on January 29th. And then the egg event, the egg event update. Uh, now, this could be a bad thing or a good thing uh, for a lot of uh, players. Um, but I would say this is like 95% good. Um, just the, the stuff they're taking away with the egg event is kind of annoying. Uh, they didn't really need to do that. But I guess they were just like, you know what? We're taking away stamina for this. So here you go. We're going to get rid of like the, everything else <laughs> besides the egg. Um, so with the egg event, like I already just said, uh, they're taking away stamina up. Which is big, which is very, very good, of course. Um, but along with them taking away stamina, uh, they are taking away uh, the coins and they're taking away the level up manuals with uh, the egg event. Now, I wouldn't really say that's a big deal um, just because there's other ways to get coins and there's other ways to get level up manuals. So it's not really a big deal. Um, but with them taking away stamina, they could have at least kept the level up manuals or coins at least. Um, I don't know why they're just taking away everything extra with the event when they take away uh, stamina. Um, so, like, I don't know. They're, when it comes to that stuff, I don't know. Dina's weird. Dina's weird when it comes to that stuff. And personally, I would prefer if they just kept both of the coins and level up manuals. But uh, that's another story. Um, but it's great that we don't need to have stamina for, um, for the egg event, which is great. Um, so now whenever you want to get the eggs, you could just get them without having to worry about stamina, which is awesome. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and the, and the, uh, the, the event is going to be fighting grass and rock, in case you were wondering. Um, and then we are getting the Mewtwo rerun. So that's going to be nice. So you're going to be able to get him to level 130 now, I think. Level 130, but regardless, you're going to be able to max him out, which is great. Um, so if you're a new player, this is your chance to get Mewtwo. And he is coming out on February 8th. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then we are also, they're also talking about the one and a half year rally. Um, and the, of course we're going to be getting, uh, bingo missions, uh, login bonuses and, uh, a lot of gems, of course. Uh, and then they're talking about the new legendary arena or not arena, legendary event. And, uh, we're going to be getting Xerneas and Yveltal and that's going to be huge. Um, there's no sign of Diansa with, uh, Gardevoir. 
a witch does suck, but they could be that secret pokey fairy that they're talking about uh, later on in this dev letter. So we'll have to find out uh, as uh, the days and weeks go on. But as of right now, there's no sign of Diana with Gardevoir, but it is it is still a uh, possibility that we can get them. But anyways, we are going to be getting Xerneas with uh, Yveltal, uh, which is cool. Uh, but you're only going to be able to pick one or the other. You cannot pick both. Um, and, like, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it just so it's a little bit more understanding. So, uh, the new Give and Take Legendary event will begin on February 11. In this event, the legendary Pokemon Xerneas and Yveltal will appear. Each forms a sync pair with a trainer who might be a little unexpected. So, try to guess who their uh, partners will be. I um, mean, honestly, I have no clue. Uh, if they're going to be unexpected, it's not going to be uh, Lissandre. I think that's how you say the name. Um, like with the, the villains of uh, X and Y. I don't think it's going to be with the villains. So, like, I don't know. Maybe with the protagonist, like another version of uh, Serena. Or it might be like our uh, little friends in uh, X and Y. I don't know. <laughs> they said unexpected. I don't know. Maybe our mom in, in X and Y. Like, who knows? <laughs> but um, we're only going to be able to pick one. And uh, so... Uh, you'll be able to add one Sync Pair from the event to your team. The other will appear in the Sync Pair Scout. Just like with returning Legendary events from this event, you can get them to max out. So basically, um, that's good. Um, obviously, that's good. Um, they're continuing. I don't know why they took out uh, that feature where we can actually max out the uh, Legendary event Pokemon and then they brought it back. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the, the stuff they do is weird, but uh, I'm glad they're keeping uh, the ability to max out the Legendary event Pokemon, which is good. Um, but personally, I'm going to be going for Yveltal. Uh, I like him much more than Xerneas. Um, don't get me wrong, Xerneas is very cool, but I'm going to be going for the bird. I love that dark bird. Uh, he's definitely my favorite among... Uh, them too so i'm gonna be going for them but of course you might want to go for xerneas so whichever one you uh pick the one you didn't pick is going to go into the scout so uh that that's not bad though um and then for the updates for the one and a half year mark now there's a lot over here for the one and a half year mark update uh there, like there's literally a lot so we're not going to read everything but we're just going to quickly skim through it so um presents for the one and a half year mark of course they're just talking about gems and other stuff uh with uh, logins and all um and then uh skyla and karina for this six star awakening which is nice um and then new type of poke fair and this one will definitely read a new type of poke fair scout will appear at this time it will feature a sync pair with un uh with um new capabilities i guess uh, honestly my, my my brain is just a mess right now <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Like, literally, it's still early in the morning. So, give me a break, please. <laughs> um, so, I'm, I'm expecting them to be very, very good. And uh, do note that the offering rate for this scout will be different from the normal Pokefest scout. Now, they could be talking about a guaranteed 5-star uh, per multi-summon. Now, don't hold my word against that. I'm just speculating. They could mean that it might be a guaranteed 5-star scout um, for each multi that you do. Um, or it could mean that they're going to be lowering the race and knowing the end of that is probably a higher possibility. <laughs> That's probably a higher possibility, but I don't think they're going to do that to us, honestly, because a lot of these gacha games, they have a guaranteed, um, kind of mechanic when it comes to scouting or a summoning, uh, for characters in these gacha games. And a lot of them do have a guaranteed for this kind of stuff. So this is probably where uh, Dina is going to be adding that feature in the game. And I've been sending them feedback, letting them know, do this, do this, please. Because there's so many other gacha games that do it. Like, for example, Dokkan Battle. Um, I know uh, Sword Art Online Memory Defrag has that too. Like, there's so many gacha games that I play that have this kind of mechanic as well for the summoning. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what uh, Pokemon Master is going to start adding in eventually. Even if it's for the first two multi-summons that you do, it is a guaranteed 5-star. That is still better than nothing, honestly. Because at least for the first two multi-summons that you do, you're not going to feel like you're getting shafted. Because even if you get a duplicate of uh, five stars that you have, that you have five out of five, that's going to be two um, five-star power-ups uh, from those two multi-summons, along with the extras that you get in that summon. So, regardless, getting a five-star guaranteed for a multi-summon would be, like, amazing. It would be amazing. Um, but uh, don't hold my word against that. It could just mean that they're going to be lowering the race, but I don't know why they would do that. So, like, my, my guess is probably they're going to add some kind of guaranteed... Uh, stuff to the uh, summoning uh, thing now um, and then for the sync grid update oh man there's a lot here um, so now we're going to be able to have 
a multiple selection feature for the grid, which is going to be nice. A present feature, which will allow you to save multiple grids with unlocked tiles to be applied right away. And then a feature that will allow co-op uh, sync orbs to be used without converting them to sync orbs. So that's going to be nice as well. And then coin free sync grid resetting, which is going to be good. Um, cause it is kind of annoying. Like if you want to reset the grid, um, then it's going to cost you like 20,000 or 30,000, uh, coins to reset, which is annoying. Um, and then a feature to reset tiles individually. So that's going to be nice. Um, so you don't have to reset the whole grid. So like if you accidentally, uh, uh, activated a tile, you could just, um, click it and then, uh, reset the tile individually, which is going to be nice. And then an additional display for tiles that have more level requirements. Finally, this grid update is going to be amazing. It's a blessing, honestly. Um, and then pinch to zoom. So, I mean, that's not really a big deal, but it's like a, a quality of life thing. So that's nice to see. Um, so yeah, the grid, the grid update is going to be a huge thing coming to the game. And then, uh, for, um, the, the, the two, one, for the two anniversary, they're talking about the two anniversary in advance. So they're talking about what they plan on doing. So additional changes to team up with new sync pairs. Um, so similar to the legend to the legendary event, we'd like to add more chances for you to team up with Saint Chris just by playing the game. So any any other additional stuff that we can do to get more Saint Chris, amazing. Thank you, Dina. <laughs> Thank you. Now it could be a harder uh, game mode or something. So like you have to do, like they're gonna add in another game mode or in uh, Champions Arena Masters mode for a certain amount of points you can get like a, a Saint Chris or something free to play. As long as you can get those points and everything, you can get uh, that certain sync pair. And then over the weeks, like over the month or whatever, if you get uh, all like the max of points that you can get all the copies to get them five out of five or something like that. I don't know. There's so much that, that they could do. Honestly, there's so much that they can do. Um, and then they're going to be finishing up the story for Pokemon Masters finally. So that's going to be exciting. And then the big one. You guys ready for the big one? I mean, you guys probably already know this because I'm late to this update anyways or this dev letter. But Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing is finally coming to the game. This is going to be weird and awesome at the same time. Because in Sword and Shield, there's no Mega Evolution Pokemon. So it's just strictly Dynamaxing. But in Pokemon Masters, there's Mega Evolution. And then now there's going to be Dynamaxing. So how is that going to work? Um, could it be a separate game mode strictly for Dynamaxing? Or is Dynamaxing going to be involved with the general uh, battle? Um, or a mechanic with Pokemon Masters. So that's going to be weird. Um, they, they are just sort of letting us know that they are working on Dynamax. Um, so there could be many ways that they're going to be introducing uh, Dynamaxing in the battle in Pokemon Masters. So we'll have to wait for a later announcement for this. Like, they're just letting us know. So there's no additional information uh, about, like, how they're adding it to the game. They're just saying, like, hey, we're working on uh, Dynamaxing. So... I don't know, this is this is awesome. This is definitely awesome Dynamaxing, but at the same time, I'm sort of skeptical on it. Because I know there's a lot of people that are also not liking Dynamaxing, and they think it's, like, boring, it's, uh, it's dumb. Um, I personally like Mega Evolution much more than Dynamaxing, but I like Dynamaxing. It is still a lot of fun, but I just prefer Mega Evolution. So, like, now that we can have, like, either or um, to choose from would be very cool. So, like, any Pokemon could Dynamax, basically, but with Pokemon that have Mega Evolutions in um, uh, Pokemon Masters, it's going to be weird. Like, how is that going to work? So, like, would they have the option to Dynamax or Mega Evolve? I think that would be the more logical way to do it, because if you can Mega Evolve and then Dynamax, they're going to be OP. <laughs> they're going to be OP, because, like, Dynamaxing, they don't, like, increase your stats or anything. All they All it does is increase your HP. And uh, your moves uh, change with a little bit of a buff to your move. That's it. But your stats in general don't change. Um, so, I don't know. It's, I wonder how they're going to do it. But let me know what you guys think. Dynamaxing, I'm definitely excited for. Um, out of this whole dev letter, let me know what you guys are mostly excited for. Um, personally, I'm really excited for the Synchrid update. Because that is desperately something we needed. Um, and then the Dynamaxing, I'm very excited for as well. Um, of course, um, I would say I'm excited for the po the new uh, type of Pokey Fair Scout that they're talking about, but we don't know any other information or what kind of uh, race that they're doing, because it could be a, a bad thing or it could be a good thing, so we don't know. Um, and of course, I'm excited for Skyla and Karina. Like, we're already working on Skyla now because uh, her rally is already undergo. 
Um, so we're, all we need to do is just do uh, daily missions, and then after like 30 days, then we can get her to six stars, which is stupid. But I mean, 30 days, <laughs> it will come by fast. Um, but like I said, let me know what you guys are more excited for. I'm definitely excited for the legendary event as well with uh, Xerneas and Yvelto, so that's gonna be cool. Um, and like, there's a lot, there's a lot in this dev letter. Um, so let me know what you guys are mostly excited for. Um, like I said, I'm personally excited for the Syncret update and the Dynamaxing, um, new stuff that they're coming out with. Uh, but that's gonna come in like another like five, six months from now for the two year anniversary. So we still got a long way to go, but still, let me know what you guys are excited for. Um, like, leave it down in the comments below. Let's have a little discussion. What is good about this? What is bad about this? Like, comment all below. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.